to you. I forgot to mention, I think I'm Kat from I-100, Classic Rock Station. And uh, it is my pleasure to introduce yet another 20 outstanding woman you should know. And uh, this is Anne Wingard, and she was nominated by her soon-to-be daughter-in-law, Heather Orr. Uh, and this is an excerpt from Heather's letter. I would like to nominate Anne Wingard for the 2008 Women's Expo. Anne is an ambassador for the American Cancer Society and the event chair for the Portland County Relay for Life. Anne's job as the event chair is to recruit, orient, and train a team of volunteers to plan all aspects of each year's Relay for Life. Anne heads up the volunteer committee implementing fundraising strategies as well as serving as a mentor and a coach to the entire committee. Anne has more energy than just about anyone I know who attends this event. In addition to being an ambassador for the American Cancer Society, Anne is the registrar for the Cortland City School District. So if you have a child in the Cortland School System, chances are Anne has registered him or her. Anne's connection to the residents of Cortland County is admirable. Whenever she is out and about and she sees someone she knows, she greets them with an energetic, hello, <laughs> and usually a big hug to follow. For this reason alone, who would not want to know this kind of outstanding woman? Congratulations to Anne Wingard. minutes because there's some very special people. Wow, I am flattered, flattered beyond belief to receive this award. There are so many deserving people that help me with Relay. Many of you standing right here, my staff partner from ACS, Tiffany Beckfold, who is just wonderful. Cheryl Small, who has run our Paint the Town Purple this, this year the first time. It's been a huge success. Lois Julian and her husband Tony, who are my right hands, I don't know what I would do without them, and countless numbers of team captains, team members, and a wonderful caring community that comes out and cares. So thank you for honoring me for all of them. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Allinger, Q Country. It's my honor to tell you about our next outstanding woman you should know. She was nominated by several people, and we excerpt the letters of Cindy Davis, Reverend Aaron Bowens, Gregory Forrester, and Barbara Hillsinger, all writing about Debbie Underwood. Several years ago, Debbie Underwood saw pictures of little girls in Haiti that had no clothes. Moved by their stories, Debbie started an organization called Dress Our People. What started as a one-woman mission to provide hand-sewn new dresses to children in Haiti has become a national movement. Debbie has enlisted over 90 women's groups to make dresses, hand parts, boys' shorts, shirts, baby buntings, hats, and other items that have now been sent by the thousands to nations around the world. Her vision, with hard work and financial commitment, has touched thousands of lives. She's given other women the ability to make a difference in their world community. Debbie does this with a humbleness and willingness to serve others. She's definitely an outstanding woman you should know. Debbie Under Yes, sir. 